guys welcome back to my channel i hope this video finds you all very very well today i'm so 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 excited because as you guys read from the title of this video i will be doing a full face full of pink makeup products now i do have to say i was really inspired to film this video because for the past two days i have been spring cleaning out my closet my room my makeup storage my everything and on my vanity i do have an acrylic makeup drawer that i purchased a while back i was really hesitant on purchasing it purchasing it in the first place because I don't really like having a lot of things out and knowing that this is an acrylic drawer and you can see makeup through it it was really stressful for me because um, obviously you can see makeup through it and if it's not organized or it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing it really really bothers me so my mission was to get all of my cute pink just girliest makeup that I could find in my collection and organize it in this acrylic drawer and it really inspired me to film this video because of how many pink pink products I had I wanted to see what I could create with them and see what I would use for this makeup look that I have on today so with all of that being said that is my story behind this video today I'm super excited for you guys to watch it if you guys are interested in learning or simply watching how I created this makeup look then just please keep on watching all right, we're gonna get started. I'm super, super, super excited about this one. And I am going to begin doing my face first. And the two products that I'm going to be using to prep my face are from Laura Mercier. And they're actually one of my two, two favorite, favorite, favorite primers. I do use the power primer to moisturize, hydrate my skin. And then I go in with the illuminating as a strobing cream to really add glow to the skin. These two are seriously like the perfect combination for my skin is just amazing. I just noticed even my contact case is pink, you guys. Oh my god! Wow! Like, I'm on a roll. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to be using probably one of the only two foundations that are pink in my collection. Aww. And of course, they are from Too Faced, which by the way, there probably will be a lot of Too Faced products throughout this video. I'm not sure, but I have a feeling there might be because Too Faced is obviously known for super girly pink makeup, so don't come for me. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, and I am in the shade Vanilla. And I'm also going to be using my Pink Beauty Blender. I actually have not used this foundation in such a long time, so I really don't know how good it works anymore so far so good it really matches my skin tone really well moving on to cream contour i'm going to be using this concealer from be bella cosmetics this is in a beautiful pink chrome finish and this is in the shade deep and i'm also going to be using my luxie 250 large eye blending brush to apply the concealer with which is also a pink brush <laughs> And to blend the contour, I'm going to be contour, to blend the contour. <laughs> and to blend everything out, I'm going to be using this Fenty Beauty brush in 125. Moving on to concealers, I'm going to be using two of them and they're both in this beautiful chrome pink finish as well. This one is again the Be Bella Cosmetics Concealer in the shade Light and this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C1 which I'm going to be using to really brighten up the under eye area. Oh, that was a lot. Alright, so first I'm going to go in with the Be Bella Cosmetics Concealer. Okay, so I'm just going to be adding this right on that inner part of the under eye. Okay, I'm looking hella crazy, but moving on to setting powder. So this is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder, which I also haven't tried in a really long time since both of these two, the setting powder and the foundation came out. And I'm just gonna set with the Beauty Blender. Next, for bronzer, I'm going to be using this Pretty Vulgar Bronzer in Bronze B. And I will also be using my Real Techniques brush, blush brush. 
blush brush blush brush blah, blah, blah. so I'm just gonna add oh that's a lot honey Woo! and before we do move on to blush highlight I'm going to contour my nose using also the Pretty Vulgar Bronzer in Bronze B. Now, I don't really have any small pink detailed brushes, so the closest that I have to pink are these Pro Fusion brushes, which also have pink chrome in them, and also this Morphe brush that I'm just really going to be using to blend out the nose. But hopefully that's not cheating because that's all I got, so... And to highlight the nose and also the highlight that I'm going to be using for my face is this Kylie Cosmetics highlighter in the shade True Mama. You guys can't really see the logo anymore because it wore out. Cheap ass logo. Moving on to blush, finally, I wasn't planning on using this one in specific just because this is one of my collections that I normally don't touch because they're beautiful and they're limited edition, so I try to avoid them. I just like to keep them for their packaging, <laughs> but I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to try it, and I thought it would be really cute to use this in this video because it's just really cute. So if you guys don't have this collection already or didn't get your hands on it um, this is the Sailor Moon Times Colourpop um, collection and just look at this packaging it's like so beautiful it's pink it's gorgeous it has like holographic just it's beautiful it's beautiful it does have a little bit of shimmer in there which I love so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of this as well on the cheeks I feel like I am having way too much fun just using all of these. <laughs> Moving on to eyebrows. I mean, this is honestly going to be a little tough for me because I only have one product that was pink. And it's also from Be Bella Cosmetics. No, this is not their concealer. They do have the same packaging for their concealers and eyebrow dip brows. Eyebrow dip brows? Their brow dip brows? What am I saying? Oh my gosh, I'm so annoying. This is their dip brow in the shade light brown. And the two brushes that I will be using are these two babies right here. And I'm also going to clean up my brows with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C7. Moving on to the eyes, I wanted to do something very girly, very fun and cute. So I am going to be using two palettes which are so cute also. I love them so much. Um, I haven't really used both of these at all. The first one is of course the Too Faced Pretty Mess Eyeshadow Palette. And then the next palette that I will be using is of course the ColourPop Times Sailor Moon Collection. This is the Pretty Guardian Press Powder Palette. Going in with the Too Faced Pretty Mess Palette, I'm going to be taking this shade here. And I'm just going to add this shadow all over the entire lid. Next, I'm going to be taking this mauve shade from the palette and I'm going to be adding this on the outer V of the outer corner. And I'm not going to go super crazy on the outer corner. I really just want to define the outer corner a tiny bit, but I don't want it to be so dark. Moving on, I'm going to be taking this really dark fuchsia shimmer shade and I'm going to be adding this right on the center of the two previous shades we just applied. So right about here. I'm also going to be adding the same fuchsia, fuchsia, fuchsia shade um, on the lower lash line. 
Ah, my eyes! Oh, that's the worst part about having contacts. It's like the eyeshadow getting in your eye. Gosh. Okay, moving on to the ColourPop palette. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of shimmer on the lid and I'm going to be using Silver Crystal, which is this shade here. And I'm just gonna use my finger to add this to the lid. That looks so cute. It's like the littlest detail, but I love it. And for the inner corner, I'm going to be taking this shade here from the ColourPop palette. I do want a white or nude on the waterline, so since I don't have any products or pencils that are pink in packaging, I'm going to have to use concealer, so I will manage and use the Be Bella Cosmetics concealer that we used earlier. Since this is a cream, thick consistency i feel like it's really going to stick well on the waterline and it's going to last a lot longer so we'll see next i'm going to be taking this dark mauvey shade once again and i'm going to be lining the lash line really well I'm going to line the lash line right below that concealer that we added moving on to liner I was really really scared you guys because I was like oh my gosh what am I gonna do because I don't know if I have a black liner that has pink packaging I swear I was freaking out because this look needs liner okay it does but thank god I remember I had the Too Faced better than sex waterproof liner Literally, Too Faced is coming in clutch in this video. We are almost finished with the eyes. We just need to do some finishing touches. And I'm going to go back in with the Too Faced palette. I'm going to take that fuchsia shade once again. And I'm going to smudge that shade on the bottom of the wing liner so right about here and i'm also going to be taking that really dark brown mauvey shade and add this right underneath as well Moving on to mascara and lashes, of course, I'm going to use, again, Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to go in with these Tati Lashes in TL4. Finally, for the lips, I am going to be cheating. <laughs> I am allowed for what, just one product, please. Just like one, I promise. I know. Shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Maybe I need to go buy Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip liners because those are about the only lip liners that I know that are pink and I don't have any, which I don't know why. But this NYX Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Coco just to line my lips and then the rest obviously are going to be pink products, but so sorry, I have to do it. Next, I'm going to go in with this Allegory Story lip gloss. I believe I said that right. I could be wrong, I'm not sure, but this is Plato's Cave. And lastly, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wearing Lipstick in the shade, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. It's completely worn out, you guys. I'm so sorry. And for the last finish touch for this makeup look is going to be little jewels the jewels that i am going to be using for this look are from go get glitter so as you guys can see i'm going to be adding it just like this side all 
All right, guys, so that completes this entire video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I had so much fun filming this for you guys. It honestly felt so good to try new products and try products that I haven't used in a really long time and made me realize how many products I I actually need to get back on, you know? But other than that, if you guys are interested in any of the products mentioned throughout this entire video, I will be listing everything down below in the description box as well as my social media. That way you guys know what I do when I'm not on YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.